hi guys in this tutorial i will show you how to perform or how to find impulse response given input signal and output signal uh, we shall have this example given uh, output of an lta system is y of n equal to delta of n minus 3 by 4 delta of n minus 1 and input to the lta system is x of n which is delta of n 1 by 4 delta of n minus 1 and minus 1 by delta of n minus 2 and our aim here is to find impulse response uh, as uh, we already know theoretically how to find the impulse response you take the z transform of y of n and take the z transform of x of n uh, we get y of z and x of z take its ratio y of z divided by x of z which is equal to h of z which is nothing but system function uh, write it in terms of polynomial convert it to poise to power of z and perform the partial fraction expansion take its inverse z transform so that we get h of n so in this case i uh, uh, we have h of n is equal to minus 2 by 3 times 1 by 4 power n u of n plus 5 by 3 times minus uh, 1 by 2 power n u of n the thing is no uh, when we keep on giving values for n varying from 0 to infinity this is actually a causal sequence so n should be varying from 0 to infinity uh, we have to give values for n 0 1 2 3 dot 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 uh, when i when i put n equal to 0 uh, when i substitute n equal to 0 in this equation i get h of 0 as 1 and similarly when i substitute n equal to 1 i get h of 1 as minus 1 put n equal to 2 h of 2 i get uh, 0.37 dot 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 so this is how theoretically we find the impulse response of a given system this is actually a system but they uh, given an input and output you convert it to a system so that's it uh, we'll see how to find in uh, impulse response in matlab uh, the command to find impulse response is impz this is the command to find the impulse response uh, left hand side is h of n uh, i cannot write h of n something like this you just write h stands for impulse response is equal to impz which is a command to find impulse response uh, first is b and next is a uh, b is the numerator coefficient of numerator polynomial this one and a is the coefficient of denominator polynomial this one we'll, we'll, we'll write it we'll put it in a square bracket and coefficient of numerator polynomial is 1 minus 3 by 4 and 0 so it is 1 space minus 3 by 4 and 0 comma coefficient of denominator polynomial is so 1 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 8 1 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 8 comma how many samples you need if you want 15 samples you give 15 so that it finds totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You get 15 samples. That is n equal to 0, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, dot, 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 up to 14. So, uh, uh, theoretically at n equal to 0, I have 1. So, 1. At n equal to 1, I have minus 1. Here also minus 1. At n equal to 2, 0 0.37, 0 0.37, dot, dot, dot. But this is how we find impulse response of a system. Thank you.